previously on Inspiring Today. Uh, all of those lessons were learned inside that performance area. DV8, right behind the first cinema. You can take them as the Grammys back yes. then in Uganda. Yeah, absolutely. Those were East yeah. Africa. Huge. Very huge. I mean, I mean, and, and done on a level, you know. Like you Standard. See, yeah, the, like how awards are now, 20 years, 21 years later, mm. it's the same class that those were done. <laughs> Back then, that, that, that's before clear cut. Yeah, yeah. So my, my other rap name was uh, Game. Game. This is before 50 Cent's Game. Oh. And it used to, I was a battle MC, so mm. it used to mean get at my enemies. Game, get at my enemies. Get at my enemies. Yes. Oh. So, uh, yeah. And then Game also came. I was like, ah, I really even can't say AKA Game now. Ah, let me stay with Nabio. Mm. At least it's from my... But also, talking of branding, yes. you are one of the artists who have kept your brand as, uh, as it is yes. since the beginning. Yeah. We, we've seen artists come with this name then change to this. Yeah. Okay, we can say Puff Daddy because we don't want to uh -huh. mention Puff to Diddy, to, 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 to P Diddy, to Puff, Puff Smoke. I don't know, it's uh -huh. a lot. So how has that helped you? And what's, what can you tell to artists who yeah. keep on transitioning? I think, uh, yeah, consistency is key. Mm. Even those guys who wipe clean their whole Instagram. Yeah. I feel like the journey is as important I, i've just gotten that yeah those guys who i clean everything <laughs> yeah. it's like a trend even ugandans are copying yeah. what americans are uh, doing for me i want to know where i've come from yeah and i want you to know where i've come from so i don't i don't i cannot forget the past i cannot change mm. a name you think it doesn't work call yourself hulk hogan you know yeah everyone tells you not to call yourself that you end up as the biggest wrestler ever yeah. and nobody nobody in history asks what is a Hulk Hogan nobody you know um, Hulk many <laughs> yeah you know what I mean you, notorious B.I.G mm. big big papa like you know you, you I, I feel like there is a certain thing with consistency as art though mm. I'm a creative you're allowed to change your mind yeah you, as a creative you can change your mind mm. but I feel like you should always in naming yourself yeah. or branding yourself mm -hmm. you should try and be as close to the person as, that you're creating yeah. as possible you so, create the brand but the closer you can get mm -hmm. to your own personality being like the person you're representing mm -hmm. or being like the brand just like some, we've had yeah because yeah, some people's some saying. people's brand is so far from far who away. they are you see a girl she's classy what then you see in person you're like oh my gosh are you eating with your feet like <laughs> You know, I mean, it's it's like mm. night and day. Yeah. You know, sometimes the brand is so far removed from who the artist is, mm. and those are people who find it hard later on. You know, but for True. me, the twenty five years in the game, it's it's the consistency has been uh, trying to at least make mm. the brand that I'm putting out there as yeah. close to me as possible, mm. um, but not necessarily. <laughs> Um, so openly being like hey I'm not gonna always be eh, trying to be liked yeah. I'm not always try to be begging for hits yeah. because I'm not a beggar you know you know so people will be like oh Navio why didn't you just do like 10 in Jogerezas mm. I'm like so that I could do what I made in Jogereza to make a statement and I made it artistically I got nominated for all the way from Afrima to all the local awards here you know it's like I have, a, I have a story to tell about that song yeah, yeah. so for me i did it you know, people are like why did you keep on going mm. i'm like because i want to try other things as an artist as a creative that's mm. why i say you can do what you want what if you continued with jogereza could do you ever come with I raha know. yeah true true like you know? that, that's what we fail to understand true. if i continued so. with all i want to know would i come up with a one and only you know if i ever if i continue with that would i come up with an ingalo or a bugubu if I continue with that, would I come up with a Nawulidanga? From Nawulidanga to Jokin? Hamid, to Hamadi. Hamadi. Old Yeva. So I so. feel like <clears throat> you need to 
have the room to develop yeah. while keeping true to yourself. Mm. Those are the artists who last the longest. And I'd say the same breath, you can keep be the same act, mm. be the same guy, but also evolve. I'm not wearing the same shades that yeah, I was wearing in 1994. You understand? Yeah. I'm not. You know what I mean? I'm not. My view isn't the same. You know what I mean? Not. You have to evolve sometimes yeah. as well. Um, and don't be afraid of the kids, man. The kids, kids, they run, they rule the world, bro. Like, don't shame them. You only end up shaming yourself. Mm. You know what I mean? If there's a wave, ride the wave or at least just appreciate that beautiful pile of water as it goes by. Mm. You don't have to indulge. You don't have to dive in. Mm. You don't have to f- try and surf. Yeah. But just appreciate the wave. Appreciate it's, it. It's, it's, you created it. Mm. All these kids coming up. Yeah. We kicked in the doors. That's true. Nobody is at the top right now. I can, yeah. I can bravely say it. Yeah. Nobody. You can mention anybody. But they have been uh, inspired by these people. Yeah. You, Everybody. You, if you have children, it's literally like opening the door for a child. Yeah. You know, so how, how am I going to handle my kids? Mm. I open the door, they walk in the house. But then you see other artists as if they're competing with the already. Yeah. I think what you're trying to say is just embrace the wave. The, em- embrace the wave, embrace the youth. Mm. Uh, you know, if you can find a way that your style fits in with new sound. Yeah, yeah. The new wave, the new mm. sound. Do it. If you don't, sit that wave out. Maybe you catch the next one. Yeah. We had a wave. <laughs> back in 2018 if i'm not mistaken who is who i was going to ask that later on but let's talk about that Uh we saw a a lot of artists like uh, we saw fefe bussi who started the wave uh we saw to to this the agent Uh rachel ray everybody was entering joining the wave but you never came out i never did no because i felt like it belonged to the new artists, you know. I'm like, I'm like, oh, Navio is gonna basically release a who is who, and it's going to be. I was also expecting the most played, and it's going to be, you know, the overall. He's I, going to be the I, who. I was also curious, like, yo, which kids are coming next, man? Which fire? Which you know, yeah. who's gonna get mentioned? Who's not getting mentioned? I think people mentioned me even. They, they mentioned me on a few songs here and there. Mm. It was exciting, exciting so for hip hop, exciting. exciting for Ugandan mm. music. Um, so yeah, I, I can't, I can't, I can't knock that. Uh, who is who? It was a dope vibe. It was a dope vibe. It, it was indeed. But um, some people said you were too intimidated by the new wave yeah. <laughs> for you to join and they shame you out. Yeah, uh, no, I would have, out of pretty much from all the ones I heard, mm. yeah, I would have, I would have killed it. Out of, out of, it's my favorite. That is my favorite, Barnan. That is my favorite hip hop beat. Sure. Yeah, I actually resented the fact mm. that they had used it. I was like, oh no, this is gonna be all over town. You know, I I, I wish they had and used. And surprisingly, most people don't know that it's also another from another person. That beat yeah, is true. not Fefe's. Yeah. It's yeah. not. It's I've just Nas. forgotten. Nas. That's an American rapper. No? <laughs> and did Nas? Know. I think Nas. They also. No, no, no. I think it's an original beat. I was gonna say I think they also sampled it. Mm. But yeah, you know that, and Nas is like. Those are two songs from Nas that are in my top ten beats of all time. Of all time. Yeah, Hate Me Now and uh, Nas is like. So you can freestyle on them anytime. Nas is like. Nas is like. Oh, crazy. Yeah, beauty. That's beauty, man. That that's really interesting. Uh, but also let's go away from the wave. Let's talk about your collaborations apart from the Ugandan uh, side of it. We had one eight, which yes. was from with Fali Pupa, yeah, Two the Face. baddest guys. Fali Pupa, the Simba. baddest guys on the. We on salute the you, brother. <laughs> where, where? Who is the original Simba? Simba. He's just yeah. Simba. Simba. Okay. Yeah. Translate to Simba, uh-huh. but Diamond has crowned it. Oh, has crowned it because uh, at yeah. to some point, Chameleon was Simba also. Yeah. Casper. Casper. AKA had one on his hand, rest in peace. Yeah. But uh, that guy has, uh, and actually that shows the power of consistency as we've yeah. been talking. Yeah. Because Diamond has insisted on this Simba, Simba thing Simba up Simba to now. Until, yeah. Up to now. But yeah, some artists yeah. come, I'm Simba, yeah. I'm Lion. Yeah, true. But then after a while, they're, they're off. Yeah, 
more like more like zebra. So <laughs> they shy away like hiders. Yeah, yeah. So we we had this one night with Fali, Bubba Two Face, four by four, JK, Ali Kiba from Tanzania. How did it? How did this come about? The uh, Sony came over. Sony Music. Sony uh, Music, yeah, um, and said we want to do a project with the hot biggest, the biggest artists in Africa right now. Who are the you know who are the eight, who are the seven biggest artists in Africa right now? In Africa. So Kenya, that was Amani. Mm. He said Ali Kiba. For Uganda, that was my one and only phase. Like no one was even close to touching that, me. Then. That's 2010, 20. Yeah. That's 2010. Yeah, yeah, around there. Mm. Um, so yeah it was you know and then uh yeah jk from zambia mm. move as elaine and two face two face you are my two-faced. african queen african queen you know maker. what i mean so yeah man we, we we went in there and we made magic happen man mm. in chicago it was a cold i think it was september and we made magic happen man with you know un- undeniably the king of r&b who was locked up for 20 years yeah due to his crimes mm. i can't say uh, you know if he's guilty he deserves to be locked up so you know i mean maybe he's where he's Shall supposed to be that. you know it's, it's sad but may, so maybe sad. he's where he's supposed to be um i hope um, that he got the right justice we're, we're talking of r kelly r kelly, r. Yeah. R. kelly the producer of our hands across the world I yeah think. absolutely and writer Hands across the world. Hi, Papa. Oh, Jesus Christ. Hey, hi, big guy. How are you? I'm, I'm in the middle of an interview. <laughs> Maybe you can say hi. <laughs> don't, don't come in the camera. They will, they will know what you look like. Yeah. They will know you. I was cool. Yeah. Got it. Mm-hmm. All right, I'll come and I'll come and play with you just now. Yeah. Maybe you can throw it from the stairs there. That'll still be good. Yeah. All the behind the scenes and everything related, <laughs> we, you need yes. to join the channel, join that near the subscription button, join and catch all these yes. un, un, unfiltered, uncensored yes. moments out of all the usual interviews. Uh-huh. I have four more. We have four more. <laughs> four more kids. Don't, they're all coming. They're all wow, coming. Wow, 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 wow. So uh, we were still talking about Ara Kelly. Yeah. It's so sad to hear for sure, but so sad for sure what, yeah. what can you say about that the i think whole i think scenario, the whole uh, allegations yeah and the, i think uh with his story mm. the way i heard it the same thing used to happen to him uh women in his life whether it was a sister mother mm. uh, he used to get abused uh, by them mm. and that made him feel very disempowered and so when he grew up yeah. his main mission in life was to disempower young Amen. girls kind of as a revenge mechanism i think that's how it was explained to me by a psychologist mm. um, but there's no excuse for it there's no excuse for there his behavior no, like if they, he's guilty mm. please let him serve his time you know what i mean if he's guilty uh, if he's not then you know we've lost the king of r&b uh, you know it's the most talented voice i've ever heard mm. um and stormy so far Woo. Stormy yeah. so far. And, and writer as well that's you know, when you're writing for Michael Jackson and Celine Dion, imagine I'll writing for for MJ and Celine Dion, Celine Dion, and other rappers, the best vocalist, for collabing me. Fiesta with Jay Z. I Shit. wish, I wish. You know, I mean, real R and B, hardcore, like chart topping. I mean, it's uh, it's a, such a shame, man. You know, anyway, it's a shame, anyway, that's actually. where that's what we're saying about brand. Mm. The brand is so far away from his music. From, yeah, who he is is so far away from. The so brand we knew away. is someone that you'd want to be your son, your cousin, your your father, your, your uncle. Father, like you understand? Somebody since then I was in yeah, Congo. We but had the stuff he was doing, like you locking up people in your basement, bro. Like uh, that, that, that's the question. That's scary. The, that, that's the point. Scary. Like you locking people. You have all the influence there can be. What's up? What? Yeah. Where does? Where does this leave other artists, and how did this also reflect to other artists? Yeah, I mean, it's it's pretty crazy, um, and you know, we don't really have that in us here. Mm. Um, there are a lot of artists who have that power. You can put it up online, and be like, "Who wants to live with me?" And believe you me, there are going to be a hundred people who are getting in line. Who Very want, true. Who can, want to live with you and whatever? 
but it's so it's something that's so not done mm. on our side i can't even compute it mm. i can't even i have a problem keeping my child in a, in a room when he doesn't want to be there my own child now someone yeah. i'm in a relationship with mm. you know it's crazy telling them how to dress what to wear what to do um i'm a guy i'm a person who doesn't like doing that yeah. if, even though when you got a 13 year old boy <laughs> you're gonna have to yeah, you're but gonna i'm a guy who, who who doesn't like telling people what to do mm. um and so i can't imagine ruling their lives telling them what to eat all that mm. it's uh, it's a disaster man it's a disaster and uh in no way or shape or form does navcop mm. limited adhere to any of those uh, things that he does yeah or fali yeah or ali kiba, ali kiba or kiba, any other kiba. artist who was involved with that we were so far away from that we came so in did a song away. as professionals mm. they paid us we got out of there done yeah by the way there are some people who try to link you sort of to that yeah, yeah <laughs> because yeah. of that song and the project yeah, yeah. but all of us all of us you yeah, seem so far away uh, yeah. and i'm very happy yeah. you're all settled married yeah. people yeah they, know, they know they know me man i've been in interviews since i was a kid mm. you know i mean since i'm 14 years old i've been on here uh i don't lie mm. you know um and I'm, I'm not like this people see me in the club in uganda especially yeah it's great because you can't get away with anything it, there's nothing i have not done in the club that people have not seen people have witnessed everything what you see is what you get exactly so what you see is what you get yeah you know i mean you come up and you're physical with me i might be physical with you mm. otherwise i have no problem i show love love and respect that is how i'm rooted that is how i'm built yeah love respect respect love first and foremost i don't have to like you i will respect you even someone i don't like i will respect you then when you disrespect me mm. great very not only did i show you love mm. You know what I mean? Not only did I show you respect, but yeah. you disrespected me. I have a reason to not associate with you now. You know what I mean? Yeah. Or to just put you out of my mind. Because for some people, that hurts worse. That hurts. You know what I mean? I have people who've released six, seven songs for me. Uh, we, let's pick them out. <laughs> <laughs> but let's leave them. Yes. Up next on Inspiring Today. So you, need to have like, you need to have like 10. 20 awards at least like for me to even to, to look answer. in your direction as far as take my brand take that guy i've built now yeah. and have him rango with it's it's very difficult but some people might not know how you got into contact with panaboy i saw him in uh, the club he had a booth and i was walking to my booth mm. and he's like yo yo where are you going i'm like yo i'm over here he's like come on son Let's link up. You and know, right? you came up with the song Bezile, Bezile, Bezile. Yeah. Bezile. Bezile. You have to say B. Be they, they put a G in front Bezile. of the B, so it's a B. Yeah. Bezile, 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 Bezile. 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 Yeah. What does that mean? 